Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers Life. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to navigate my newest set of interactive solar wiring diagrams for camper vans, truck campers, and RVs. The diagrams I'm gonna be talking about are housed on our website, explorers.life, and more specifically at explorers.life slash solar wiring diagrams. You can click the link up here to go now or at the end card at the end of the video and in the links in the description as well as the pinned comment to check it out after watching this video. It's a pretty short video as I feel that the diagrams are pretty user friendly, so let's just get to it. This is the wiring diagram. The most important thing to know on this is almost everything on here is interactive and clickable. If you're on desktop, you can hover your mouse over any of the components on the page and a little tooltip will pop up and tell you more information or what the product is. When you hover the component, the diagram will also highlight the other like components on the image that are the exact same part. For example, these wire lugs. If you click the component, it will take you to a page, typically on Amazon, where you can learn more about the product or add it to your cart. On some of the diagrams, I have product discount bundles grouped together. On this diagram, for example, it uses pieces from the Explorus Life 200 amp hour Battleborn bundle with inverter, which is all of these parts. So when you click on any of these links, it will take you to our Explorus Life Battleborn discount collaborative package. On mobile, all of the components are still clickable, but the hover feature just goes away. Below the diagram, I have a shopping list with the quantities of parts necessary to build the entire project from the diagram above. This is arranged in various product group sections. I also have the item quantity needed for the project. For example, for the 3 8 inch 2 aught lugs, you're going to need 8 total. Those lugs come in a five pack, so you'll have to do your due diligence and add two five packs to your cart or select the appropriate bulk package number from the drop down list here that fits your needs. But I've made this even easier for you. You see this little nugget? You can add all of the items in the above section to your Amazon cart with the proper quantities simply by clicking that link. Once you click that link, you'll be brought to this page, which will ask you to verify that you actually want to add these items to your cart. Click continue and you'll be brought to your pre-populated cart. This doesn't purchase anything for you, of course, it just adds it to your cart. You'll be able to purchase from there, adjust quantities, delete items if you need to, or scope out the other products listed. So back to the shopping list. You'll notice by each product, I've added a checkbox so you can cross check and verify the products added to your cart are actually what you're needing. I attempt to be as accurate as I possibly can with this, but I don't personally control the inventory and these items are simply sold by vendors on Amazon. So although I do try to keep tabs on it, discrepancies can happen. So please verify products and quantities and let me know in the comment section if anything seems drastically incorrect. Also, it's worth noting that sometimes if you click add all to cart, certain items may show as unavailable. If this is the case, just note which items are unavailable, add the rest of the items to your cart, then return to the list and click directly on the items that were unavailable. This is a stupid problem to have, but it's still a problem nonetheless, and this workaround is the easiest fix I found. Regarding wire lug quantities, for the most part, I rounded up to the nearest five-ish bulk quantity amount. So there's gonna be a few extra on the big wire lugs in case you break or lose one. On some of the smaller wire lugs, like the ones I like that have heat shrink insulation pre-installed on them, they really only come in like an 80 pack or something like that. So that's gonna be an overkill as far as your quantities, but I find that I typically go through the smaller wire lugs faster and an excess is good to have around. Regarding wire sizes and lengths, the sizes are my best guess recommended blanket statement size that will work for most setups. All of the wire sizes are listed on the diagram and all of the wire size lengths are listed in the shopping cart. Please make an attempt to organize and position your system so that all of the components are as close to each other as possible. If you're able to keep all of the components, excluding the solar panels and the alternator, within an arm's reach of each other, these wire sizes are going to work great. For the 12 gauge accessory wires, like lights, fans, 12 volt outlets and such, it'd be a really good idea to measure the distance from your 12 volt fuse block to where each of these items are actually going to go, add all those numbers together, and that's the amount of 12 gauge duplex wire you're going to need. Also, there's a link at the top of this page where you can take a survey where you can let me know what wiring diagrams I should do next. In this video, I've only covered one of the many wiring diagrams that I have planned for this page. This survey will help me determine which size of systems are most in demand for the future diagrams. 
Finally, if you want more updates to whenever I add more diagrams to this page and general life updates from Steph and I here in Explorers Life, click the little bubble icon in the bottom right of our website and sign up for our email newsletter. I really hope this diagram and shopping list is helpful, and if it is, I'd love to hear about it. If you do find it helpful, it would truly mean the world to me if you would share it with somebody who can use it, post it to a group who needs it, or pin it to your Pinterest feed to just help me get the word out. Now, if you've just been watching the video without going to the site and are ready to do so, then you can click up here. If you're ready for your next solar lesson, click down here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.